another random eBay component. Can you tell what it is? Imagine you've got a circular or other shaped base with this protruding up way, and on the bottom of your appliance, you've got this. It's one of those cordless kettles and cooker type things that when you place it on, it makes electrical connection. It sits down with the weight of the device. It takes a fair amount of pressure. It took about, uh, hold on, I'm just going to actually weigh that. Well, use a set of scales to measure the pressure it takes. I have the scales. Uh, I'm going to use them to try and measure force here. This is not going to go down too well with the pedantic people who want it measured in newtons, but it's going to be measured weight versus force in kilograms. So I'm going to put the base on and I'm going to tear that out. So it's at zero now. And let's see what force is required to bottom this out. So I'm going to press that on, push it down, and I would say about one kilogram. So whatever you've got in this, it will have to be at, weigh at least one kilogram to push these down, make the connections properly. I shall put my scales out of the way. The connections, this looks like fairly solid sort of big brass rings, but in reality, it, it's a non-ferrous metal, so I'm guessing it may well be brass, but it's just folded. That's a thin sheet of uh, brass with the end just sort of folded over so it looks like a large contact here, but it's actually, well, it is a, a large contact here, but it is just that thin strip that's been folded then just for cheapness, I suppose. And when you put it in, let's see, I'm going to have to, I tell you what, I'm going to bring in something so we can see this closer. I'm going to bring in a brick and I'm going to put it on top of it. Uh, the brick, incidentally, is my Make America Great Again brick. Poundland, during the presidential elections, Poundland had all this Ameri American stuff with, like, uh, hold on. They had the American Dealy Boppers, which I found disappointing because the springs don't have matched springiness. This one is uh, much more resonant than this one. This one just stops very quickly. But, you know, these things, you know, it's, it's a minor technicality, but, you know, matching springs would have been nice. However, I have my brick, and I'm going to use this to actually get up closer to the camera, and then we can zoom down in this. So I'm going to... Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to do it like this. Let's zoom down onto this and focus on this. Right, see if we can get this closer. Is that looking better? Is this even going to be visible? Hold on, I'm going to try and fire some light into this. Righty ho. Okay. So, as I pre press this down, you'll see that these contacts here are sort of folded to give them a certain springiness. And as I press it down, they ride up on those brass slip rings. And the middle pin is just coming up against the earth pin. It seems to be a low priority, the middle pin. I thought it would make connection with the earth first. If it does, it's only borderline that it does that. So those contacts are doing the bulk of it. And I, spo I suppose, in a sense, they are making a really solid connection. And because they're actually sliding backwards and forwards, they're effectively a wiping connection. But the only springiness in these is that the metal is just sort of zigzagged. Uh, and then there's that little... Uh, tab out the side that stops it going down too far. Very, very simple. Now let's take a look at this. So it has a bimetallic disc on it, and the disc has just been pushed in and snapped onto that little tab there. Show. Underneath is a little ceramic pin and those contacts. And if I press that, I'm just going to try and hold a, hold a light between my teeth here, it's not ideal. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can see a contact opening. Okay. Is that really visible? Okay. Right now, I'm going to get the heat gun and I'm going to heat it up and see if I can do that. So let's get the heat gun on. And is this going to be visible? Let's tell you what. Let's uh, adjust the exposure and see that. That would have been clever. We've done that before. Let's also adjust the focus down onto those contacts. Is that kind of working, or have I just completely screwed up? And now I'm going to heat that disc. And we'll see. Did you see that ceramic pin just push the contacts apart? Interesting, when it closes again, though, you can actually hear contacts touch just before the thing actually clicks back. There's a slight moment that it just touches. Pauses, you're not hearing it. Without the fan running, 
uh, it, you can actually hear it more obviously. So yeah, I don't know if that's just a sort of temperature regulation device or if it's an emergency overheating device. Let's uh, try and uh, tame that uh, exposure down. So that is uh, fundamentally it. Let's focus back down onto here. It is a, yeah, I'm, I'm making a real dog's dinner of this. That's the problem with trying to get up close to these things and show things actually moving in action. But there we go, that is, I'm not sure if I can immediately think of a use for this because it's designed to go into a plastic base that's designed, you know, it's physically slots in and twists and locks into place. Uh, so unless you had a specifically shaped device, it's not going to make an ideal platform for making that electrical connection unless everything's just absolutely perfectly square. Because if it goes in at any angle at all, the contacts can sometimes miss the strip and slip off the side and it kind of jams them. Yeah, this is totally overexposed now, isn't it? That's, that's appalling. Anyway, now I've screwed that video up completely. I, I think I get to screw at least one up every so often. That's more or less it. Uh, a cordless kettle-type base arrangement. That's really all there is to say about it.